Oh, I have a very big low um, that was never exposed because it was something where it, it hit me to the core. Um, so when they edited where I was exposed with Bronwyn on that trail and I knew it was coming and I knew that Bronwyn, I didn't realize at the time that Bronwyn had contacted my ex-husband online, found his phone number and started befriending him then found out about my past and all this stuff. And this is just what I was told and then told the producers who then were trying to figure out how to get it out of me and then got it out of me because I, I had a, my gut instinct knew that if I didn't tell my story, she was going to so she could be famous. So, you know, she's done so much stuff on the show that I didn't want her to use my situation for her fame. So I, I just spit it out knowing, you know, so that was, that was a, a low, but here's the big low was I never knew at the end of the season during the reunion, I never knew during the entire reunion she was texting my ex-husband. She, she was like in full communication, like I don't know if they hooked up or what, but you know, I was pissed that she and my ex-husband were like BFFs and she was feeding my ex-husband information that I, that I then, that I was saying during filming of the reunion. And that's when I realized this bitch, this woman, is completely two-faced like the whole world thinks she was there to rescue me but really she was there to get famous and to use me for her fame so that was a low part because i really tried to be friends with her because i i understand her personality i understand where she comes from and she's had an interesting childhood she's i related to her so that was my low low it wasn't because of the show it wasn't because of covid it wasn't because of all that because of a personal reason of what she did to me on the show showed me that women are vicious and they'll do anything to be on the show and that made me realize that the next season I was going to bring it I was like ready armed and willing you know and then they fired me and I was like oh damn it and then they fired her so I couldn't even argue with her so <laughs> and you think so like when she initially contacted your husband you think it really was like what like I'm gonna play producer and make this show as salacious yeah. as possible mm -hmm. yeah because the more the show is shocking the more famous I could be yeah 100 percent. that's absolutely correct yes and then during the reunion what like when Andy said okay break we're not you know let's well, take no. a five minute break I'm in the middle of the reunion and I get a text for my or I get a email from my lawyer with an immediate gag, cease and desist. So she was feeding him information that she's not supposed to do. You're not supposed to share pre-filming stuff that's not edited. You know, that's not, we haven't yeah. edited. So I was very, very, very disappointed in Bronwyn. And I think that she should be disappointed in herself. And I hope that now that she's sober, she sees what she has done and she makes amends one day. And if she doesn't, that's on her heart and not mine. <laughs>